this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial I will be showing you how to crochet this lovely doily but I'm going to do some changes. As this used to be, uh, I crocheted this to one of my trays to serve, you know, coffee when I had company but unfortunately that tray is gone because I did this, I crocheted this over 20 years ago. So what I'm do going to do is I'm going to crochet another doily to fit this tray. And um, I'm not going to do the tessels this time. And I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm not going to do two piece. As you can see, I did two piece here. And uh, I don't like the look how it looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one piece and start decreasing and then just finishing it. So uh, grab your... Uh, Faye, <laughs> you wanted the tutorial. I loved your comment. So let's get started. Grab your desired yarn or thread that you want to crochet with. And uh, let's get started. And I do have a, uh, another tutorial after this. I'm going to use this stitch to make a shrug. <laughs> Same uh, technique, what we're doing on this in this tutorial. And I will do another video to show you how to crochet that. So stay tuned for that other uh, video. So let's get started. Grab your desired thread or yarn. You, can, you don't have to make a doily if you don't. You can crochet anything you want. You can make, like I said, when I did this uh, tutorial on how to show how to crochet this stitch, you can make a shawl out of this lovely stitch. <laughs> so let's get started on how to crochet this lovely doily. Oh, I forgot another Canadian uh, subscriber, Tina Ferraz. She's the, another person. I loved her comment uh, uh, that she wanted me to sh do a tutorial because she loves doing uh, doilies. <laughs> uh, and that was my second uh, subscriber who messaged me. Tina messaged me through uh, the comments. And I do have other uh, subscribers asking. So let's get started on how to crochet this lovely stitch. So I grabbed my stash. Okay, and there's so many yarn here to choose from, but they're different colors, so uh, I'm going to save multiple ones for a different uh, project. So I'm going to grab this yarn. I think I only have one ball of this, and hopefully this will be enough. So it is called the Coats Opera. Yeah, these are from my stash. I have lots of yarn in my stash and I'm going to do a giveaway so for Canadians I'm going to do a, I hope they have a free shipping this month because shipping Canada Post charges so much like I shipped a box this lady bought a couple of uh, yarns from me and it cost like $22 just for a small box if I put it in a big box it cost over $50 so it's very expensive and I am waiting for that free shipping so I can fill that five kilogram so that's five times two that's about ten pounds of yarn and then hopefully I'll do the giveaway I'll do a flash giveaway so if you're a subscriber I'm sure you are going to get my uh, a message when I do the flash giveaway and I will pick the yarns uh, from my uh, stash and I will do worldwide I think I'll do two I don't know we'll see it depends on how it goes so this is Coach Opera 50 gram made in Portugal so I paid $3.95 well it was for the bag I paid so wow this is pretty nice okay it's pretty thin as you can see I hope my eyes can see and I have different colors in here. Just thinking. Yeah, I want it nice and thin. These are a little bit bulkier. Oh, okay, this one has a number. Yeah, when you get older, your eyes... My grandmother, she used to crochet since she was 80. I remember her. I don't know why I can't. Let's see. Okay, this is 20 and this is 5. But this is thicker. 
Uh, I really don't understand these numbers. They're so confusing. So this is 20, so this must be thin. The bigger, the smaller the numbers get. If you know anything about it, please do leave a comment because I don't have a clue about these threads because I usually buy my, I used to, well, I, I still buy them from Turkey and I know their numbers because I've been buying from them. But here, I don't understand. And this is thick. Well, this is like this. I think this is the same, yeah, same thread because the colors. I'm going to do a different tutorial after this and that one is my special stitch pattern that I've been doing for years and okay so let's get started I'm just going to figure out what crochet hook to use because I don't have a clue and I'll try to make it as closer so closer as I can so you can see uh, how I'm crocheting oh it says one hmm, okay I'll be right back Okay, the tulips that I have, the smallest goes to number two, and I don't have a number one, but I found this. I must have ordered this from hobium.com, because it says the car tulip, that's what they're selling usually. I didn't buy any um, crochet hooks when I was in Turkey. Now I regret it. I should have bought a couple. <laughs> oh, geez, when you're there, you see so many supplies and yarn, you just forget what you need, right? Okay, I think this is a 1.9. I'm just going to test it to see if it's going to work or not. You can do that too. Like, you don't have to use the recommended uh, crochet hook. It really depends on um, what you feel comfortable with. So, I'm just going to use this and see how it feels. Oh, yeah, this is pretty good. Just doing chains. I think I should put my closer uh, glasses. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I think this is okay. I'm not going to make it that thin. My eyes aren't. And I have new glasses. Yay! Cool. So I can wear them when I'm doing, uh, working on uh, closer things. Okay, I'll just right be, I'll be right back. I get lots of comments saying that I talk too much and then I don't start right away. Well, you don't have to listen. You can just skip it. I like to talk. I like to explain things in detail so you would know. And then every time I explain something, I would uh, give you tips. So listen if you can. If you can't, just skip it. So I'm going to chain a total of six chain. Three, four, five, six. And I'm just going to do a slip stitch. This is the first time I'm using this crochet hook. So I'm going to go three, one, two, three. And then I'm going to make another double crochet. I'm just going to use this technique that I did, this the, the corner to corner of virus shawl. Just going to use that technique. So I'm going to chain two. Because, uh, oh, sorry. Because the edge is same. Okay, but here I did three, so not two. Okay, thank God I looked. And I can't see how the, uh, it started, but I'm sure it, that's how I started. So I'm just going to use a, a technique. Okay, so three, not two. So we're going to do three double crochets. And here, I think I pulled it at three, but that's okay. We can pull it at two. We don't have to be that detailed. I remember years ago, we used to pull it at three. And I don't know, this double crochet is so, get it, it got so popular. And then I forgot to do the pulling at three instead of now we're doing just pulling at two like we're doing the double crochet. So one, this is the third double crochet. Okay, for this I'm going to chain three because it's a thread, and I don't want it to. And I'm weaving as I'm crocheting, and then later on I will just cut, cut this. Yeah, I would I love reading your comments so anything you want me to do I had this email and I can't find it she asked me to uh, do a baby card again if you're listening please send it to me again I don't know I don't usually delete uh, subscribers uh, emails but I, I can't find it and I did do a card again when I was at doing the farmers market in Penticton and I, and I did a couple of them so 
If you're listening, send it to, to me. I can't find it. I looked everywhere. Sorry. So I did another the three double crochet, and I'm chaining three again. And I'm going to do another. So I'm just making this part. So as you can see, there's uh, four sets of three double crochets. So this is the third. Okay, three double crochet again, another three chain, and then another. Uh, I'm doing it slowly as you can see. I'm having a hard time because I've been crocheting with uh, bigger crochet hooks, and uh, this yarn is pretty thin. I think it looks good. I think you guys can see it. Yeah, okay, and I'm doing the last double crochet and just cut that. Okay, so I can cut this and then I'm not going to chain or anything. So right here, I'm going to do a single crochet and I'm going to chain three to go up and then I'm going to make a double crochet. Just doing this part now. Now we're doing this part. So the edges are going to be Three double crochet, three chain, three double crochet, and uh, in the middle we're going to make a double crochet, three double crochets, and three chains in between, but not on the following row. Those there's no chain. Okay, so the chains are one double crochet, and I did the second, and I'm doing the third, and I'm just going to do three chain, and I'm going to make three double crochet. Just like this. Three. Okay, and then I'm going to chain one, two, three, and I'm going to make three double crochets in here. Just like this. Two, and then three. You know what? I'm just going to cut this. It keeps on coming in front of me for some reason. I hate it. Okay, and then I'm going to chain three, one, sorry, two, three, and then here I'm going to make three double crochets. And then another double crochet, three, and then again, three chain. Two, three. Okay, so I've done this row. I'm just turning my work without chaining or anything. I'm going to do a single crochet. And uh, the reason I'm doing that, it gives you that nice edge look all the way when you're doing that uh, no chain. Two, three to go up. Then I'm going to make two more double crochets. So those two, three chains will be considered as one double crochet. So I'm just repeating what we did on the previous row when we turned our work. Oh, I did one extra. So one, two, three chain, and then three double crochet on the same three chains we did on the previous row. So this is the edge. We're going to repeat this over and over every time when we turn around. Okay, now um, I do apologize. My mouth gets dry. I don't know why has been raining here every day so I don't know why it's happening so I'm gonna go to the next uh, so I will sip a uh, water sorry about that okay so I'm gonna jump to the next uh, three chain area without chaining or anything 
and I'm going to do three double crochet, crochet chain three and on the same spot do it um, three double crochet and then I'm going to go to the next three crochet uh, three chain that we did without chaining so I'm just chaining when we're doing the three double crochets in that same same um, three chain and this is how it looks like so far so if you want to make a shawl you can start it with a um, a bigger uh, yarn look I grabbed this uh, if you want to watch my next tutorial I'm going to be using this nice and very soft yarn that I'm going to make a shrug out of this and I hope it would be enough and it's a four witch so I'm going to use the same technique as I'm uh, showing you on this in this tutorial so uh, you, you don't have to use a thread like I said you can use anything you want if you want to make a shawl so jump to the next make three double crochets okay here we're chaining three but when we're jumping to the next we're not uh, chaining anything just like this so three double crochet and we're going to the next one we're not chaining anything we're just jumping just like this and making three double crochets just like this so this uh, this uh, technique is done with uh, two rows repeat after another you just repeat repeat until you have the well I keep on doing four until you have the length you want so I do chain three on the same chain to make another another set, set of uh, three double crochet just like this okay I'm getting faster getting used to it okay now we're going to do the edge here so without chaining or anything I'm just going to jump to the three chain and I'm just going to do my regular uh, edging three double crochet one two three chain and then three double crochet this crochet hook is very nice to work with so if you uh, if, if you're the one who buys from hobium.com i would highly recommend this crochet hook i think i bought it from them if i haven't bought it from them it should be icr icr in paradise that's the only two i bought and then I go on Etsy, one, two, three, and I go on, on Etsy, there's a couple of, if you want me to recommend, just put it on the comment and I'll put the links, the shops that I keep on buying, I return, my return customer, I like to go and buy. I did buy this Angora Rabbit yarn from uh, Ukraine when I was in Turkey, I had this custom order and she wanted a special color and I didn't I didn't take any angora with me she sent the perfect yarn that I wanted it's perfect color but when I ordered from Canada ha, she screwed up she sent me a total different color so uh, it happens I guess what can you do but I'm stuck with her yarn unfortunately so here we're on this row what we're going to do is we're going to do a three chain and then do three double crochets on each three chains here as we can see An Angora Rabbit is not cheap at all. It's very expensive. So one, two, three, and I jump here, and I make three double crochets. Jump where the three chains is. Remember, we did three chains on between three double crochets, and I'm making three double crochets here. Okay, and then I'm going to chain one, two, three, and I'm going to jump to the next three double crochets we did. So this is the second row that we repeat. Just like this. Just wanted to show you so. Here we are. Okay. And then we're going to jump one, two, three. And we're going to jump where the three chains is. We're just going to do the edging. So three double crochet, oops, sorry, two, three, 
Oh my God, there's crazy drivers. <laughs> They're everywhere, aren't they? And then three double crochets. It's, uh, they, they say it's the young drivers, but my son is a young driver. Like, he is so careful when he drives around. Depends on the person, I guess. And then you will see a little bit tightening, tightening happening, but that's okay. Nothing to worry about. If it's very tight, then do four. Instead of doing three chain, do four chain. That's my other trick that I would highly recommend. So I'm going to go and do my regular single crochet, three chain to go up, and then crochet the remaining two double crochets. One, two, three. And then three double crochet so I have finished the edging okay so we're going to repeat what we did on not the previous row but the, the before that row so we're going to do so we're here right now we're here where we did the two, three double, uh, three double crochets, three chain, three double crochets on the same three chain. So now we're going to do three, three of them, three, three of them, not counting the edge. So as, as we go up, it's going to increase. You will see that automatically. So I'm just going to go jump. If you like this background, please let me know. If you don't like it, I'll go back to my other background that I've been crocheting. Just wanted to try this and see how you like it or not. If you don't like it, let me know so I can change my background. I would love to get your feedback. Okay, so I did my three and I'm going to do my one, two, three chain. And remember, I didn't chain anything when I jumped to the three chain. This is that row that you don't chain when you're jumping. And I do my regular three double crochets and I jump without chaining. I only chain when I'm in that three chain to separate the three double crochet. One, two, Okay, I think this is going to take me a while to crochet. I don't know. We'll see. Today's September 11th when I started it. And uh, hopefully I'll finish it and post this. Two. Three. One, two, three chain in the same three chain. Two, three, and I'm jumping to the to, to crochet the edging. Three chain. One, two, three chain. Let me know if you're interested to, to crochet curtains, because I have a couple of ones in my mind that I want to make. If you're interested, let me know. Put it uh, put your comment below. So we finished this row. This is how it's getting wider and bigger. Okay. And then I'm just doing the edging. Two, three. Okay, I'm gonna let you crochet. This is all we do it do like this is how we're getting it wider the more you crochet the wider it becomes and i'm going to do these so i'm going to jump here to do three double crochet three double crochet three double crochet so i will have a total of three double crochets in between on the previous we had two remember so this is how we increase we increase on this uh the previous row that we did the two double crochet three double crochets three chain uh, when we do the do it on the edges this is how we increase this is the main thing okay so um i'm gonna let you crochet and uh, the length you want let's see so when i put it on my 
So I'm going to be crocheting a little bit more. And uh, oh, I can't see it. Sorry. A little bit more and see how it goes. And I'll come back to show you and show you the uh, to do the decrease. So keep on crocheting and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you I have increased. I have did two more rows, right? And then I know I did my four. So I'm going to do this row here. So that's how we get the increases on these both sides and it gets wider and wider. So I will do this row and continue crocheting. I will show you more. Okay, so I'm in the middle and I just wanted to show you how to decrease. So this would be the middle. Now we're going to be doing this way, symmetric. Okay, to do that, I'm making this up <laughs> as um, what I did to over 20 years ago. I just joined, I did two pieces and I joined, which I don't want that look. So when you put it down, it gives you that uh, look. I don't like this look. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to decrease. Probably I didn't think about it. Probably there was no such thing then right so uh just doing this as i'm showing i did get a comment other day i just other day i deleted it and i blocked her so i don't think she can she can watch my tutorials but she can't comment anymore she was so rude oh okay i just had to find her comment so Susie Mayberry, I did block you, and so from now on, you are not going to be commenting in my any of my tutorials, and you are a rude person. Years and years, I have never replied, but now I am going to point this out. Like, this is not right. She wrote down this video is blurry, and this is not a triple crochet. You should have practice before making a video, because it's confusing, sorry. I think this is rude. I don't know what do you think I would love to hear from you like this comment just took me off just ruined my entire day and week I never practice on any of my tutorials I do them alive like this one I am showing you and plus I'm doing it as I'm showing so I have not practiced I did another one 20 years ago but I don't have the time to practice like, I don't get paid to practice. No, I just do it with out of my heart, with my fun. I love it. I enjoy it. And that's all in, That's all to it. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that a rude comment? Like, I, it just... She went on. It was blurry. Negative, negative, negative. Okay, I'm throwing that back out. I don't want to... Yeah, it's still in my notifications. It didn't... Even I deleted it, but... Yeah. Okay. I do apologize, but I just had to have that out of my chest. It was just driving me nuts. And there were other comments. I don't know if I can find it, but I, maybe I should make another video about this. And then we can talk about it. I write down what you think underneath so uh, I can make another video and we can talk about it. Or I can do a live chat, I guess. I don't know. I never did that either. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I am here. I'm do I'm going to be doing this this part. So instead of chaining three, I'm not going to chain because we're we're going to be decreasing. So and then to do that, we need to decrease it from here. So I'm just going to do my regular three double crochet, just like this, and then one, two, three. Just like this. So I'll meet you at the end. And yeah, I would love to hear what you think about that comment. Like, I don't know. I felt it was rude. Okay, so I'm at the end. And then I'm, I did my three double crochet. So without chaining, we were supposed to, to chain three. 
but we want to decrease, so I'm not going to be chaining. Okay, so I'm doing my three double crochet. Oops, what did I do? Oh, because I'm looking at the camera. So I'm not going. So I'm not in the middle, but I'm always going this way for some reason. I don't know. So I'm just doing my regular edging. Three double crochet, three chain, and then three double crochet. Okay, so I'm finished and I'm turning my work. This is where the part begins, where the excitement begins. So I did my single crochet and I'm doing my three chain to go up. And I'm going to do two more double crochets, just like this. Okay, so I did my edge here. What I'm going to do is, I'm not going to do anything here because I'm decreasing. So I'm jumping here and I'm just going to continue crochet. So I'm jumping. When I jump, automatically this will pull. As you can see, now we're going to be decreasing. So we're going to go that down, decreasing our uh, stitches. So I'm just doing my regular in the middle. Nothing wrong. So three double crochet, three chain, and then three double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to the next chain, but I'm not going to be chaining anything. I'm doing this part. So I'm going to continue doing three double crochet, three chain, three double crochet. And then I will continue crocheting and I will meet you here. Then we will be jumping from here to there and I'll show you that. Okay, so I did my last set of threes here. So I'm going to be jumping here. It's going to be a big jump. So I'm just going to jump to the edge and then I'm going to do three double crochets, just the regular edging. One, two, three chain, three double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to turn my work. Then I'm going to do my usual single crochet, three chain, two double crochet. Three chain. And then three double crochet. Okay, in this, uh, this row, I'm not going to do anything because the only thing we do is when we're doing the two double crochets. That's when we're doing the increase. So now we're going to be decreasing on these two double crochets, like two, three double crochet sets, let's say it that way, this part here. So I'm just going to continue doing my one, two, three, and then do my three double crochets in those three chains that we did. So I'm just doing this uh, row. So I will do that all the way. So we did two, four, six, eight, ten. We had ten, eleven double crochets, so we should have two less, so nine. We should have nine, three double crochets. Okay, so I'll meet you when we come to do the decrease. Okay, so I am starting the next row. I did my three crochets, three double crochets. Okay, I forgot we weren't supposed to chaining here because we're doing the decrease, but that's okay. One mistake won't hurt anything, so I didn't want to frog it and start all over. So I did here. I didn't chain anything. Just to point that out, because we're decreasing, we're not supposed to chaining because we're skipping this part. So I'm jumping here. 
and I will show you if you make a mistake. Don't frog it. It's hard. <laughs> Get lazy. And I will fix it. So I'm just doing my regular three double crochets, three chain. So I skip this part. And you will notice that it is ten it is uh, it is kind of benting because of the decrease. And then the more we crochet, the more you will see the difference. I will let you crochet, three double crochet, three chain, three double crochet, and then you jump here. You jump here and you jump here. Okay, I didn't count, but let's count the three double crochets on the previous row. So two, four, six, Eight, oh, ten. Eleven, wasn't it? Eleven. It was eleven. Okay, we skipped two actually. Should be just looking again. Okay, so I'm at the end. I did my three double crochet, three chain, three double crochet. So we're just going to ignore this. <laughs> but if we didn't chain, that would have been better. Like I said, I don't practice. <laughs> so I do a live while I'm taping. Okay, I'm doing my edge. Three double crochet, three chain, and then three double crochet. So the next row is just going to be three double crochets. Okay, I went back and counted. I do apologize. So the previous row was 10, 11. It's going to, and this would be 10. And this row would be nine, the three double crochets. So when we're increasing, we increase one on each row. And we're, when we're decreasing, we do decrease one, three double crochets in each row. So I will let you crochet and I'll meet you back. So don't forget not to chain when we're doing this row, the, the three double, um, when we're doing the three double crochet. Let me just show you before and I'll be back to show you. Okay, so I am going to skip, skip here without chaining and I'm going to do my three double crochet because we're decreasing just like this my three double crochet I'm going to chain three one two three and I'm going to skip here to do my three double crochet just like this and then you will see that it's decreasing Ta -da! <laughs> the more we go down the more you will notice the decreasing but I will see you when we come back, do this row, and when we're turning, I will show you how to do the decrease one more time. And after that, I will let you do the rest. Okay, so I went back and I turned around, did my edging. So I'm going to go and then do two double, three double crochets here, skipping this, because I did not chain this time, just to show you. And I did not chain on this one either. So this way it would be better okay so I'm gonna let you crochet like this all the way to the end and I will meet you at the end it should let me just lay it down for you and then you will see that it is decreasing and when we block this I'm sure we will see the pointies even by pulling it yeah, I think this looks way better than when I crocheted 20 years ago. Over 20 years ago. <laughs> See how smart you become? The more you crochet, the more you become better at what you're doing. So, I read that comment, but I'm not going to it's not going to bother me anymore. Yeah. So, I will let you crochet and I will meet you at the end to show you the finished look.
Okay, so I went and I crocheted and I crocheted. This is really fun to work with. So I have been decreasing and then up to here where I'm almost done. So I just wanted to show you how to end it. So I'm just doing the edge again. I did my single crochet, three chain, and I did two double crochet. Okay, and I'm gonna chain three. Then I'm gonna make three double crochets right on that same chain. I'm gonna try to make it as tight as I can because we're ending it. It's going to be finished. <laughs> okay. So here, I'm just going to jump here to do that without chaining or anything. Just going to do three double crochets in that chain. it up one two and three okay and this is how it looks like so as you can see there's a round here going to so there's four and there's what if I join it like that and that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to finish it well there's no other way Just did three chain. I'm just gonna, I'm just securing it. Just like this. And then I'm gonna cut it. Now weave the end. And I still have lots of this. So Katie Berry 1966. I have um, mailed you the thread. You can use that thread to crochet this lovely doily. <laughs> and then I'm just going to weave this just like this. Now keep on weaving. And then I'm going to pull the middle. haven't blocked it or anything Ta-da! and this is how it looks like so I hope you like this tutorial and Tina you wanted this tutorial so here you go <laughs> here Tina and was it Kay I forgot I oh I forget the names I do apologize so uh, I hope you like this tutorial really fun so I'm gonna start right away on the next project next tutorial and so that would be next for you guys to watch it I don't know how long it's gonna take maybe it will take three days maybe it will take one week maybe ten days and I will post that to how to make a shrug out of this stitch just got me get me doing so again, thank you very much for watching my tutorial, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and happy crocheting! <laughs>